So first I want to start off with the definition of taxonomy, which is a classification system organized according to relationships among the component characteristics of the objects or items that are being classified. So in Gentiles two-dimensional taxonomy specifically, there are two general characteristics being classified. One, the environmental context in which the person performs the skill, and two, the function of the action which basically categorizes the skill. And then a little brief history, Dr. Ann Gentile is responsible for creating the two-dimensional taxonomy, hence the name for it. And she did this by broadening the one-dimensional approach. And she did this because she realized there was a problem. Basically, the one-dimensional approach is unable to capture the complexity of many motor skills. So it's super important and it was rather needed that she did this. So the main focus of this project consists of taking a deeper look into what actually makes up the Gentiles two-dimensional taxonomy. So within the two general characteristics that I previously mentioned, there are quote-unquote sub-characteristics, as I like to call them. So two, the two general characteristics can be described more extensively. So within the environmental context, there are two other distinct characteristics, one being the regulatory conditions, which are characteristics of the environment that control the movement characteristics of an action, and then the second being intertrial variability, which refers to whether the regulatory con conditions associated with the performance in one situation is present or absent in the next situation or the, uh, the next trial. So within function of the action, there are also two other sub characteristics. So one being body orientation. Does the skill require you to move from one location to another, which is known as body transport, or does the skill require you to stay in the same location, which is body stability? And then the second sub-characteristic is object manipulation. So is an object used as part of the action goal? So a physical therapy or a occupational therapy setting is a practical um, real-world application for the Gentiles two-dimensional taxonomy. Um, it can be a useful guide for evaluation of movement capabilities and limitations. So this is the first thing that the therapists do with their patients. You know, this taxonomy is able to give them information about the movements that patients are capable of performing and then what skills their injuries are keeping them from performing. And then after they use it for the evaluation, it becomes a valuable tool for systematically selecting a progression of functional appropriate activities. So basically, the physical therapist, um, this helps the physical therapist in selecting appropriate skills that match his or her ability, the, um, aka the client's abilities, and then they can increase the com complexity in therapy sessions until the patient is able to perform them. So because the taxonomy follows a simple to complex progression of skills, it provides an objective basis for determining progress in overcoming skill deficits. So in conclusion, every characteristic previously mentioned puts different demands on the performer and can affect the performance of the skill. And the taxonomy organizes motor skills on the basis of skill and complexity, and it also has various application uses like I previously stated. One, it evaluates deficiencies in motor performance. The second being that it provides a systematic basis for the selection of progression for functional appropriate activities to overcome these deficiencies. And then the third being that it helps chart a person's progress, which helps create a profile of competency.